back. What's up guys? Back with another movie review and today we're gonna be talking about Kingsman the Golden Circle. Matthew Vaughn is starting to become one of my favorite directors. I loved Kick-Ass which was a pretty big hit. I loved X-Men First Class and I loved the first Kingsman. Holy crap. I was blown away by the first one and I remember it became like a surprise hit like everyone was talking about it and how crazy that church scene was. You remember that church scene? Come on. Crazy, right? That church scene is one of my favorite action scenes I've ever seen in an action film. And that's what I really enjoyed about Kingsman The Golden Circle. The action is amazing. It's top notch. From the beginning scene, you're, you're ready to go. Matthew Vaughn has a great taste when it comes to action. He has his own style. When he films his action scenes, he comes from different angles of the, of the action. That way you're all not like shaky cam. Uh... See how annoying that was? Yeah, that's that's a lot of action movies when it's really shaky, but Matthew Vaughn doesn't do that and I really like that. He keeps it nice and clean where you can see everything and I really like that. And that's one of the pros of Kingsman the Golden Circle is the action. I was a little disappointed that there wasn't really that church scene that we got in the first one. I was really hoping we'd get a action scene like that, but unfortunately we didn't. That doesn't mean the action is bad though. When the action happens, it's pretty damn awesome, especially with the Statesmen. When the Statesmen came in, I was like, okay, what are they gonna do with them? And I was a little disappointed in how they, and how they threw Channing Tatum's character in. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but you don't see much of him in the film. On the other hand, the guy with the skipping rock, yeah, a lasso. He was, he was badass. He was one of my favorite parts of this film. His lasso goes electric, it zooms in and out, like, whew, it's crazy. We have Colin Firth back, and that's the big question that everybody has been asking. How is, how is he still alive? It was okay the way that they brought him back, but I feel like they played it safe. They could have done like some outrageous way of him coming back, but they played it safe. And it's, it's fine, it works, as long as it's not, it wasn't like a dumb choice. So it was pretty smart of them. So about the story in this one. I wasn't a big fan of this story, only because it didn't really make a lot of sense on some of the choices that they made. Julian Moore's character, she was pretty crazy. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. It was it was a deliciously fun, and you'll understand that if you see the film. I mean, it's no Samuel Jack then in the first film, you know, with all that weird lip stuff, which I really liked. But Julian Moore pulls pulls off a pretty good villain. Some of the cons that this film has is that it's two hours and twenty one minutes which it kind of feels like it. And when the action hits, it's really cool and all, but then when it goes back to the story, you're kind of just trailing along, trying to keep up and following with it. But the story isn't as strong as it should have been, like the first one. The story can be confusing at times. I don't want to spoil anything, but the way that they portray this one character, they shouldn't have done it that way. They should have just gone with what the trailer made it seem like it was, and it would have been awesome. Some of the choices that the writers decide to make with some of the characters, I was a little disappointed by because it just changes the whole story and I wasn't a fan of it because it didn't really do anything. We have Halle Berry, we have Jeff Bridges, we have Channing Tatum, and Julian Moore joining the team. And all of them are fantastic, especially Julian Moore. Halle Berry, Channing Tatum, and Jeff Bridges are okay. We didn't really... I just wish we would have saw more of them in the film. But like I said, the action is fun, the story's okay, uh, there are some funny parts, and I mean, I would recommend go seeing it, honestly. It's not as great as the first one, but still you're gonna have a great time seeing some crazy ass action. I'm gonna give Kingsman, The Golden Circle, a C. After I saw the film, IMAX was giving away these awesome uh, Kingsman flasks, so... That was pretty cool. Here's my review of Kingsman the Golden Circle. If you've seen it, let me know what you think. If you like this guy, subscribe, like, share, whatever you wanna do, I guess. Later, nerds.